What's going on guys? Platter McCards in the house and today I'm coming to you with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now today's duel that I wanted to highlight is a really, really quick one and you'll see why. So I'm going to use my Skull Servants deck, King of the Skull Servants. This is dope. So here's my deck profile real quick. Uh, obviously this can be improved. You can do a couple things like uh, obviously fill out the extra deck and whatnot. But I'm running three Skull Servants, three King of the Skull Servants, three White Mares, three Right Princes... Three right bakings, three lady in white, uh, three unizombies, three right princesses, uh, three shinrai solitaires, two gozukis, a rageki, a monster reborn, a foolish burial, a book of life, two mystical space typhoons, uh, one burial from a different dimension, one hand destruction, two gravity binds, and one shinrai style. Some I don't know how to pronounce that card, but it's a good card, guys. All right, so without further ado, let's take a look at the duel. So in this duel, I actually kind of got lucky because I got to go second. So what I like to do with this deck is you need to dump all of your Skull Servant monsters or all the monsters that count as Skull Servant in the graveyard as quick as possible. That's the best way to beat this or win with this deck. So I'm going to summon Unizombie, which lets me send White Baking to the graveyard. When it goes to the graveyard, I can add two zombies from a deck to my hand, and then I can discard one. So I choose to discard a right prince, and right prince's effect is when it goes to the graveyard, I can send uh, two to the graveyard that are specifically listed. Then I'm going to use this thing's effect to discard one more to the graveyard. So now I have, what, seven cards in my graveyard? And then I can use that thing's card, um, right prince's for my graveyard's effect, and that allows me to remove two from play, especially some of my boss monster, King of the Skull Servants. But before that, I also uh, realized I needed to have eight in the graveyard for this to use its effect all the way. So I used Right Princess as well. And then immediately just, oh my god, one turn kill. Ow. Next, since that duel was so quick, I thought I have enough uh, gems. Why not uh, open the Solemn Judgment pack and the Lightning Storm pack? I already opened the Ash Blossom pack. So let's go ahead and see what the Solemn Judgment pack will hold for me. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. Come on now. Let's open it. Let's see if we get anything decent. Temple of the Mind's Eye. Any battle? Um, okay. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, nice. Number 97. I use this in my Blue Eyes deck in real life, so I know what this is about. And this can be used in pretty much any level 8 uh, deck. Yeah, two level 8 monsters. Any level 8 deck. And then Dragoonity Lance is good in Dragoonity decks. Alright, what do we got next? Oh, nice. Magician's Left Hand. I don't know how good that is, though. Because I don't really run Dark Magicians too much. Uh, light Barrier. There's an Invoked Fusion. Not bad. If this card is special summon or a monster... Special summon to your opponent's field. You can target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. You can only use this effect. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. That's Elvis. Elias or the Evoker plus one fusion monster. Okay. Not bad. We got a light barrier. Yellow dragon ninja. What do we got next? Okay, now this is going to have a great card in it. What do we got? Jurak Dino. Okay, none of these are any good. Oh, nice. Nice. Master King Archfiend, two fiend monsters. One per turn during your stamina phase. Pay 500 life points to destroy this card. Once per chain, if you pay life points, except during the damage step, you can send one fiend monster from your deck. Uh, It's a six-sided die card. Nah, I wouldn't use it just because it's a six-sided die. And then nice, some Adulte card. What do we got next? Red Eyes Wyvern. They need to give Red Eyes some freaking support. Oh, Starry Knight. This is the new archetype. Uh, still relatively new archetype that came out a while back. Uh, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, though. What do we got next? We're halfway done, guys, with this pack opening. Um, Dragonroid. Eh. Nothing decent. Come on, I need something good. 
I need something good. No, I like fluffles though. Fluff is it fluffles or fluffles? I can never tell. But this is a decent archetype. I always want to try this out. All right, what do we got? Nice black wings. Omni Dragon Brotar. This card is like universally usable in so many different decks. Synchro deck too. This is number eight. Nice. This is the most overpowered Dragoonity card, Dragoonity Synchro Monster there is. When this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target any number of Dragoonity Synchro, uh, Dragon Dragoonity Monsters in your graveyard. Equip those Dragon Monsters to this card. This card gains $300 or 300 attack. I don't know why I said dollars. It was brain fart. For each Dragoonity card equipped to it. So I can equip all those Dragoonity Monsters in my graveyard. And then most of them that I'm going to choose to equip have an effect where they're, if they're equipped, I can special summon them. So I can use that to go into so many more combos. This card is super expensive in real life, otherwise I would be using it. But now I might be interested in making a Dragoonity at Night deck in this uh, in Master Duel. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments. All right, number nine. Number nine. Ice Barriers. Oh, my God. I bought three of the structure decks. I was so hyped for these. It's the biggest disappointment of my life. Uh, we get anything else? A Master Hero Enki. I always run one of these in my Elemental Heroes. It's pretty decent. Use one mass change. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Eh, that archetype is decent. Oh, nice. Let's see. Hopefully, I got something decent. Nice. Sky Galloping Gaia, the Dragon Champion. I've actually never tried a, a Gaia deck. Gaia and Curse of Dragon archetype. I know they they was they received a decent amount of support, but the fact that I don't see them these days probably means it's not that good. So, yeah, I, I think I maybe got like two or three good cards, plus Solemn Judgment, of course. Okay, that makes sense. Now, let's open the Lightning Storm pack, guys. I need Lightning Storm anyway. Alright. So pack number one. What do we got? Mm, Danger Chupacabra. Not bad. I always wanted to try a Danger Archetype, but it's it's not that good. Really not that good. You gotta play with certain other archetypes. It's like a, it's an engine that can work in certain archetypes. Oh, Crystal Beast, not bad. Other than that, I'm not seeing anything I'm interested in right now. Maybe a Sunseed. Might do a Sunseed build for this game. Do 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 go go uh, do do do. I suck at pronouncing these names. These are terrible. It's do do dwarf go go glove. This is pretty good for a Utopia deck. I might have to build one of those in this too. Yay, Dragoonity Legion. More Dragoonity support. Not bad. Atlantean Dragoons. This one's really decent. Um, all your level 3 lower sub monsters can attack directly. If this card is sent to your graveyard uh, to activate a water monster's effect, you can add one sea serpent monster from your deck to your hand, except Atlantean Dragoons. And if I'm not mistaken, most of the Dragoons or the... Atlantean archetype, uh, it's they all send something to the graveyard, or a lot of them do. So this is pretty easy to send to the graveyard to pop off its effect. Let's see. Nope, nothing good. I'm getting disappointed, guys. Thought I'd, I thought I'd pull something really cool. Hopefully now this means I pulled something cool. Nice, Hand Destruction. I managed to put one more of these in my uh, zombie deck. Oh, nice. Necrofusion and Vision Hero Increase. 
Vision hero increase is very good in pretty much any hero deck. Something decent, something decent. Not really. Black Illusion Ritual, not bad. Might have to work on a Relinquish deck soon. Dogmatical Punishment, nice. What else we got? Dimension Shifter! Dimension Shifter! This thing is overpowered. If you have no cards in your graveyard, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard until the end of the next turn. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. This is the best thing to pull first turn. First turn, you use this card, and everything your opponent, all their combos, everything is going to go to the graveyard. Most of the time, that will just ruin everything they're doing. I know it would ruin my King of the Skull Servants deck, for sure, because everything needs to be in the graveyard. If everything gets banished, I'm kind of screwed, right? All right, number nine. Piercing the Darkness. I like this card for my Blue-Eyes deck, and I would use it for Dark Magician decks, too. Anything where you use uh, normal monsters that are level 5 or higher, I would definitely recommend putting one or two of these in there. I use three, personally. Um, let's see. Solemn Scolding. When this is, If this is the only sp set card in your spell trap zone, when a monster will be summoned or a spell trap card monster effect activated, pay 3,000 life points, negate the summon or activation if you destroy that card. See, this will be decent, but the, the thing is, it's... Its requirement is it has to be the only set card in your spell trap zone. So maybe if you have some face-up spell trap, then you should be fine. But if you happen to have another thing set, then it's not going to work. So it could work, just situationally. All right, last one, guys. Last one. Another Wobaku. Not bad. Not bad. I need a couple. Dimensional Prison. I know in real life, trap cards are kind of slow, but I found in, in Master Duel, at least this type of card is freaking broken i still have yet to pull a mirror force but if i pull a mirror force it would be broken i have yeah holy crap this thing is i'm gonna use this so that's pretty much what we got and lightning storm what we're here for well now that i've purchased all three of them i'm a happy camper anyway guys thank you for watching my Yu-Gi-Oh master duel uh dueling with my new Skull Servant deck and pulling the packs. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do, 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 do.